just by the start of the game, I uh, felt real good. Um, just just having a hard week of practice uh, kind of got me in that position to where I could just go out to the game and it come a lot easier to me. So did you actually go through a full week of practice last week as opposed to, say, the a couple weeks before that? I did. Uh, from start of Monday on to Thursday. Uh, you know, in the past, I I had to come out there on a Wednesday just to, just to try to get some game reps uh, with the with the team, but I was able to go Monday last week. How much How much does that help going through an entire week? Oh, um, just just get you in, into uh, I guess just a good rotation with the offensive line. Um, just get a good timing with the quarterback and just kind of seeing blocks before it happens. Mentally, how good does it feel to show that you can still do what you? What what you've done in the past? It feels great. Um, just gonna go back to just hard work during the week. Um, you know, like I said, I wasn't able to do a lot of things, participate a lot during during practice during the week, and just having that opportunity last week, you know, it gave me a chance to have a good game on Saturday. Does that? I mean, does that wear on you mentally? I mean, when you can't be out there practicing with your teammates, I mean, you want to be a leader on this team, and yet you know you have to physically stay on the sidelines. Yeah, it does. Um, Cause just to see those guys out there working, uh, it kind of gets to me a little bit. But you know, I just had some things I had to deal with, um, just to overcome those things, and just getting the opportunity last week, you know, it meant, meant a lot to me. Oh, I mean, did you say that was the first Monday? Well, like first Monday in in a few weeks, yeah. Yeah, not the first Monday. No. Of the okay. Primarily hamstring issue, right? And then. In the quad. The yeah. quad. Yeah. You back to full health, or are you still? Is that still a lingering issue? Oh, not at all. I'm just just a little banged up from just playing in the game, but it's nothing serious. How much was the hamstring holding you back in the game? So the last couple of weeks. I uh, only had a uh, little problem with it the Auburn game after I did it, and just a little bit in the Florida State game, but not too much. I mean, it looked like against Maryland, you had that explosiveness too yeah. that maybe we saw sometimes last year, maybe not as much this year. Yeah, I kind of got my legs back under me. Yeah. Um, like I said, having that week just to get cold tub and just get fresh legs and felt good. That was a pretty big load. Are you at the end of the night? Was that was that like enough for considering how much you've been playing earlier, or could you have gone more? Yeah, I could have gone more. Um, you know, after we kind of got the lead and kind of got the games in our hands, you know, coach made a statement, "Let's go score," and you know, we all we was, we was ready to go. Out there and put some more points on the board. Mm -hmm. How about your long run when you angled across the field and got at the angle on you catching you? Did you feel like you gassed at that point, or um, he was just faster? Well, actually, I didn't see him. Uh, oh. Yeah, he just kind of got in my sight at like, like the last minute, but you know, he just, just made a good play. But then the, your touchdown run clinched the game at the end. It looked like you had, you know, first play of the series in the game. Well, I kind of had everyone in sight then, and right. you know, I just couldn't run away from him at that point. Chris Moore said he and Coach Elliott thought you left about 60 yards out there. Do you think he could have gone for even more to Yeah, yeah, just going back and looking at film, you know, it's, it's some runs I, I kind of missed out there. or didn't finish the way I should have, but. When you say you didn't finish, what do you, what do you mean? Um, just going down at, after contact, um, you know, some some runs that, after the first contact, you know, I still can kind of keep my balance and just go for another three, four more yards. But Andre, is this team started to think about what might be out there for you guys with the season that you've already already put up? Yeah, um, you know, it just all comes back to just believing in each other. Um, just the start of the season, you know, we, we we had that main focus, just believing in each other. And coach, you know, he did a great job with. Making us believe, uh, and just going out there and having that belief in each other, you know, it makes the game a lot easier to win. How about down the stretch now? I mean, seven and zero is a pretty big number. Still, a lot of big games left. Obviously, do you guys? I mean, do you start to think, well, we could be eight now, we could be nine and zero. I mean, is there or does that? Do you get tight when you start to think about that, or do you just try and keep that out of your mind? I try to keep it out of our mind. You know, just just focus on the game we have ahead. Um, you know, we got to treat that as the biggest game of the season, you know, the next one. And this week, North Carolina is be our biggest game of the season, you know, because it's the next game. How is the sideline different in the third quarter when you're down 18 points Saturday versus in games you were trailing last year, like South Carolina, 
North Carolina similar to this game? What was the? Uh, a lot. Uh, some things that was different was, you know, last year we kind of gave up at that point. Um, and just just having the type of team we have this year, you know, being behind, we, we don't get right at all. You know, we stick together and we know we can fight and we're going to fight for each other. You know, defense wasn't playing a good game. And the offensive guys, you know, we had their backs. You know, we, we did whatever it takes to win the game. Morris was saying he saw a little bit different temperament than you said. Morris, you kind of speak to that. He said it had a little more fire to you. Yeah, um, I was more ready, uh, you know, just Opposed to the other weeks, you know, I didn't have a full week of practice, and I kind of got to the game and just like, you know, just expecting things to happen what, without having to go through and do it. But, you know, just having that that full week, you know, I was able to just to go out there and felt feel, feel good about the game. Um, you say give up. That's you know, it's pretty dire uh, sideline body language, I guess, or just mental approach. Is it just a lack of firepower that you guys? Use? That you thought you had on offense, or what does that trace to? Um, actually, I, I really don't know. Um, man, you, you kind of get you have negative players around every every on every year. Uh, no, doesn't matter what the situation is, but you know, just Saturday, you know, we had everyone pulling for each other and just trying to keep everyone going. So, looks like Mike Bellamy had some, maybe some frustrating moments Saturday. What did, what are you saying to a guy like him to kind of keep him going? Just got to just keep him focused. Um, keep him humble. You know, uh, he got a little frustrated, but you know he shouldn't have. But you know, it's just, just a situation he can grow from. Learn uh, next time. Was his frustration from not getting enough opportunities, or was um, he I have no idea. Uh, you know, yeah. It actually looked like he was sitting there on the bench early in the first half and kind of had a towel over his head. And I saw you go over to him. What? Why did you go to him, and what did you say at that point? I was just make sure he was all right. You know, I thought he was down about something, but he didn't show me that he was. So I was, I'm, I'm, yeah, I was guessing that he was good. So I just went back to playing the game. Andre, the uh, you know, the first BCS standings are out. You guys are seven. Do you think Clemson's gotten the respect so far this season it deserves? Do you think maybe you guys should be a little? Higher up in that in that BCS standings with the kind of season that you've had. I mean, we, we got a lot of respect from some people that doubted us at the beginning, but you know we're not satisfied where we are now. You know, we, we're still going to go out there and try to be six next week, you know, and maybe five the week after. All right, I guess those things take care of themselves. If you guys yeah. keep winning, they yeah. take care of themselves, don't they? Yeah. You have a chance to talk to your cousin. Uh, what's going on? With the game cops? Uh, well, I mean, I talked to him, but it wasn't football related. Um, just family talk. Did he give you any idea that he's going to be playing more? Or? Uh, no, nah, he didn't make that. He didn't say okay. anything to me about that. Uh, and maybe if I talk to him tonight or tomorrow, sometime he might talk about it. But. Okay. You probably never played against him. I played against them. Yeah. Uh, it was always on the same team. But you will. Yeah, I will eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that far away. Nope. Anything else for Andre? Thanks, Andre. Yeah.